Hi. So um, first to get onto Box, you probably need to find an email that is titled something about 1990 Institute and collaborative folder and Box. It might be different depending on whether you already have a Box in that account or not. And if you click on the, fold, the view folder or the accept invite, uh, it should probably take you to um, a place where you have to create an account. And if you already have an account, it will probably will take you to the main folder, which is called China Workshop. Uh, we have speaker resources here, and then everything else is organized vaguely topically. Um, if you, for example, click on the 2013 speaker resources, those are from last year. Um, you can see if you want to go back up a folder, you go up here to China Workshop, and you'll know exactly which folder you're in. Um, and uh, you can click on any of these and see uh, the PowerPoints from last year as a PDF that you can preview. Um, and up on the right hand top side, you can um, uh, see comments. You can also um, edit this file and download it. Um, and on in the corner, there's also a way to like modify more specific things. You can also add a comment. So this is a pretty easy way to preview files. To upload files in general, you click on upload, you click on upload files and you're done. Um, if you're trying to create a link to say a YouTube video or a New York Times article, you can go to new and then you click on new bookmark. And that allows you to put in the link you put in the name and then the description. If you notice when you're creating a new bookmark, you actually can't add tags. Well, which means that if you're linking to anything and you want to add tags to it, you will have to put those keywords in the description. Uh, thankfully, all of these things can be searched. So um, adding it to the description is about as good as adding it to a tag. And then if you look at these files, there's also a ways to add tags and add descriptions. So that's a description. Uh, that is a tag, those little blue things. And if there's already existing tags, you can simply click on this to add a tag. Otherwise, you will have to um, go to this little um, arrow here that says more options. If you click on more options, you can add tags right here. Um, and to change the description or the title, you go down to properties and click on general info and that allows you to change the description and the title. Um, if, for example, you uploaded something and you want to um, upload a newer version of it, but you want to keep the descriptions and the comments, you go to this and you click on upload new version um, instead of doing the default upload, which is up here. Also, fun things here, you can see how big something is, and you can also see how many people have uh, previewed it or downloaded it. Um, so let's talk about search. Up here, uh, where it says search files, you can do a search, say I want to do something about um, geography. So I can type in geography, and it shows the two files that have geography in the name, but you can also click on um, see additional results. And you can see, okay, there's a folder called geography, there's a document called geography, which also has the word geography in its description, and there's a different folder that has geography as a tag in it. So you can click on and explore all of these. Um, in here, um, with this advanced search, you can also um, filter by folder and by type. So I can say I only want to see PDFs that have the word geography somewhere in its title, description, or tag. Uh, so all of these things are pretty exciting ways to search. The other thing that's exciting about Box is that you can add a lot of comments. So here's the core resource that you have. And if you click on the corner here, you can um, add comments and comments can be a bunch of links. So here are all of the links that were in the lecture, except now as actual links that you can click on. Um, you can add comments about how you will use the resource. Uh, you can add comments linking to other resources that are relevant to this resource. Um, and um, you can see what other people have added as well. 
lastly, if you go back to the China Workshop main folder, um, on the right hand side there is a link to this folder that you can copy. Anyone who has the link can view and download any of the files that are in this folder. So you can share it with teachers who actually weren't able to make it to this workshop. Uh, I hope that helps. Thank you very much.